Hello and in this video we are going to learn how to create a scatter plot graph in Excel with trend line. So you can see here that I have a very simple list of ice cream sales data for a given period which is about two weeks and I want to find out where the sales data are heading. What sort of ice cream revenue can we expect for the following days? So the best way to do that is to create a scatter plot graph and that's quite simple actually all you need to do is to press ctrl a to select the entire data range then go to insert and in the chart you can see here the scatter chart is uh, xy or bubble chart click on the drop down arrow and there will be a list of options for you to choose from now in case that you don't see this kind of scatter plot chart then all you need to do is to click on the recommended charts click on all charts go to xy which is a scatter chart and then just select the one that you want so in this case i'm going to select this one the second option and press ok and here you have it and for the chart title i'm going to add it as ice cream um, sales all right so now we have a scatter plot chart now how do you show a trend line within the graph itself so a trend line kind of helps guide the viewer to where is the ice cream sales heading is it going up is it going down where is it heading so in order to display a trend line all you need to do is to go to add chart element click on it and select trend line which is the second last option and here you can see that there are a few options so in this case i think i'm going to choose the linear option but then there are a few quite interesting options so the linear option show you the, the trend line for existing data but then there's also this option linear forecast that not only show you the trend line for existing data but also kind of give you a forecast of what can you be expecting in terms of ice cream sales revenue for a few more days so let's click on this all right now in case you are curious there are also a lot more trend line options so just click on this and you can see here that you can set it to forecast either forward or backward forward we can set it to let's say three period that means um in the next three days what can we be expecting in terms of sales revenue and for backward we don't really care so let's just um, keep it for now so hit enter all right and now you can see that the trend line is being pushed and um, this could give us a pretty good idea that if we continue our ice cream sales for the next few days then there's a fair chance that we will be earning plus or minus six hundred dollars for a given day which is not bad for an ice cream truck really i hope you found this video useful that's it for now happy learning and see you in the next video